Elio guys and welcome back once again and in today's video we're continuing on here with the new reviews of the 2 is not 5 so if you guys haven't checked out my Yeo video yet uh, feel free to do so you don't want to miss out on that one especially if you need help capturing uh, that lovely uh, Ashramon here but we do have Lilaps here who I believe I'm pronouncing her name right the lovely waifu with the gun looking sword thing which looks awesome I'm definitely done with her design I didn't know she had like a little rat tail or anything like that, but yeah, we do have her here. Uh, I think she looks interesting. The base version looks a little bit generic, but the second one looks alright. Uh, and then the third one, yeah, she's cool. But anyways, let's go and take a look at her skills here. So we do have the level 60 version of her stats. And we're starting off here with the fire version of Lilaps, who is a balance type coming in with 33k HP, 2.7k attack, and then 2.9, nearly 3k defense here. A little bit high on the defense versus the attack to be a balance type. HP pull is actually pretty decent too. So let's take a look at the skills because no matter how good your stats are, if your skills are doo-doo, no one's going to use you. And also some clarification right here too. She is AoE as indicated with her 5 star skill which says damages all enemies. So I can read just sometimes. And then her variant skill is Grace of Life. She boosts the HP of party members. That's... This is a nat 5. I'm not saying Grace of Life is terrible, but new nat 5, old generic variant skill. I'm not surprised whatsoever. But anyways, for her 3 star skill, she comes in a full buff breaker, 90% chance. Very useful, especially in terms of Apophis, or anytime you have to fight some MFers with immunity or shields. And then for the 5 star skill, there's attack down with an 80% chance for 2 turns. Not bad, I mean it is a nat 5, so her whole kit is just based on debuffing. Probably hints why she has slightly more defense than attack, because attack doesn't really do anything. She needs to survive in order to spam full buff breaker and attack down. So pretty much, I mean, what is it, Apophis is what comes to mind in terms of her usage. Especially with that attack down for more longevity here. Uh, in regards to her skills, it looks like full buff breaker does receive a 20% damage boost and it goes up to... 90%? No, 100%. Not necessary, 90% I feel like it's pretty decent already. Uh, and then attack down does receive a 15% damage boost and goes up to 100% for two turns. Yeah, definitely not necessary either, especially if you have mons like Baby Shark where you're running more than one attack down anyways. So, I mean, it is what it is. This doesn't seem incredibly bad, but nothing incredibly spicy either. And who is it? Was it Glinda that has a similar kit? I know they have the whole skill function too, but I haven't clicked on that or tried that one out yet either, so at this point in time I'm kind of fearful of what I could do. Okay, she has it on her 5 star skill. Nespy Siphon on the 3 star one. Close enough. Okay, Miho. Yep, think of Miho, but with a, um, attack down versus defense down, which in regards to Apophis could arguably be more useful if you have a slot or after further testing can um, basically say if she's worth it or not. But that's the fire one. We still have four more other versions to go. Let's look at the variant. Variant looks awesome. Let's move on to the other versions though. All right, next up we do have the water version of Lilaps who is an attacker type coming in with 28K HP, nearly 3.8K attack, and then 2.6K defense. Okay. That attack is looking very interesting, man. 3.8K, I'm down with that. And for both three and five star skills, Lethal Strike. You know what that means. All kinds of money for Apophis. All kinds of money if you're interested in doing the dimensional uh, defense golems, if that's your thing, which I need to do a video on, but honestly, I just have no interest in running that dungeon. Hence why I haven't done a gym video. I ran it a couple times, got a couple gems, and I was like, I don't care about this. I'm just going to go back to regular freaking um, golems because I can get gems I can actually use here. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you could also bring this in PvP if you want and try and snipe out some Dark Sea Stars, Siegfrieds, Mons with high defense in general here. But that's pretty much what comes to mind. Um, is it Mira? Is it Water Mirror? That this might be a replacement for if you're rocking the Water Mirrors. And if you can't get this version, obviously with Water Mirror, especially as a newer player, Feel free to go uh, buck wild with him. But take a look at the skills. It looks like Lethal Strike for the 3 star version gets a 20% damage boost. While the 5 star version gets a 25% damage boost. Is it worth it in the end? Look at that variant. If you get variant just for the flex, yes. No variant, probably not. But let me find Mirror real quick. 
which I should have used the new search function, but we won't talk about that. Okay, Lethal Strike and Hunter, close. So yeah, definitely a big upgrade from Mira if you happen to still be rocking Mira as of right now. And was there any other Astromon with Lethal Strike that is water? Let me slide over here to the Discord, which if you guys haven't joined already, uh, feel free to join. The link is in the description below to see if we have anything else in regards to that. So, in terms of water, there's Enkidu, Glenda, and Mira. And she is the first one with double lethal strike, so that could definitely be interesting here. But yeah, the water one seems pretty decent, and let's move on to the wood one next. Alright, the wood version of Lilaps is a tank type coming in with 50k. HP. That is a nice chunky pull. Um, we don't have that many Astromon past the 50k club. I feel like there's probably five max counting Lilaps, if not four. Don't quote me on it. I know someone out there is like, Elio, you're wrong. It's six. But okay, the HP pull is just high, okay? But, anyways, her attack is 2.3k and defense is 2.5k. Little low, or should I say defense is pretty average for like an attacker based Mon, but she does have plenty of HP. But she's also wood so let's see how this goes here so take a look at her skills for her three star skill damage reduction done to all allies for one turn hmm and that's her three star skill and then for the five star skill it's guard where she kind of takes all that damage for herself this could be interesting especially if it, if it was on a light or dark mon but it could be interesting or fun just to see because that is a whole bunch of damage mitigation if you can't crowd control this baby girl with the whole damage reduction at the very minimum. But it is only one turn too, so hmm. It's like pick your poison. Either one's bad. And I could see the variant skill going into effect here with that HP lead boosting up her uh, naturally high HP. It's just the defense is something that you want to kind of get over here. And I mean, we do have puncture and stuff like that too. So interested to see how she's going to perform. It's just with her being RGB too. I don't know. Mileage may vary is what I'm trying to say here. But damage reduction uh, does receive a 15% damage boost and its effectiveness increases by a whopping 5%. Guard receives a 20% damage boost and it goes up to 3 turns I believe for that. 70% of the damage received from enemies is re redirected to the guard source and is reduced by 60%. That is a pretty chunky reduction though. So I'm curious to see how she performs. Is she going to be like a breadwinner in terms of PvP? No. Do I think she may be a good staller? Especially if there's a different element that has a similar kit to this? Hmm. Find out for more. But yeah, pretty much just a PvP defender type Ashramon. I wouldn't really recommend building... I mean, I really wouldn't recommend, you know, taking her elsewhere. Because outside of that, mainly in PvE is just nuking in some form or some nature. Not just defending infinitely because you want to clear the stage not just stay at a stalemate but hey it's just advice at the end of the day all right and then next up here we do have the light version of lilaps who is an attacker type uh she's coming in with a whopping 28k hp 4.1k attack and then 2.7k defense okay sounds good to me man i have no problem with that stat distribution light mon Higher innate crit rate, easier to get that crit rate to max, so you can focus on crit damage. Uh, three star skill is going to be morale boost, 50% of her own SP, so we do have some SP battery action. And then she also has Hunter. So this right here, 100% wave clear. 100% wave clear action. So if you need a wave clear, you're new to the game, you somehow pull this baby girl, Maybe if you even even if you can't Evo three her Evo two her throw her on a siphon set and let her go to town. Um, outside of that, nothing else is really uh, new here. Probably wouldn't recommend in the PV uh, P situation just because she's probably going to be frail and siphon isn't as effective as other types of damage up in there. But yeah, she's someone that you could probably have fun with, especially in terms of like the light tower of chaos too. If you guys haven't cleared that out here, but yeah, just your lovely basic wave clear i mean i would love to wave clear in style though so i'm down with that but anyways her self morale boost does get a 20 percent damage increase and it goes up to 60 percent uh hunter goes up to 60 percent as well and receives a whopping 35 percent damage increase damn yeah she's gonna hit like a butt cheek on a stick now that i'm i'm thinking about that and who was it light Ender has a similar kit to her if i'm um remembering correctly he is predator 
50% predator and then group morale boost which arguably isn't bad whatsoever either because it's 20% but predator doesn't increase with that but yeah honestly I would just compare her pretty much to light Indra just a waifu version of light Indra so if you love your light Indra you should have no problems with her. If you guys are out there using Light Lender, feel free to leave it in the comments below about how you guys feel about him so we can get some perspective on you having, uh, or a newer player perhaps pulling basically the light version of him. But yeah, traditional wave clear. If I pulled her, would I be mad? Maybe, maybe a little bit, but hey, it's a baby girl with a gun. What can I do? All right, and then last but not least here, look at that black man, slick, smooth. Uh, we do have the dark version of Lilaps, who is a tank type coming in with 43k HP, 2.2k attack, and then 2.7k defense. was hoping that defense would be slightly higher, but it's something we can work with, especially with her being a dark lawn. Her only real disadvantage, of course, is going to be those light MFers. So let's take a look at the skills right before I click on the variant. I don't know. I think normal looks better. Because variant gets like that washed out look, but let me stop with that. So for the three star skill, she has morale boost for herself. Okay. Interesting here. I was hoping maybe for like an SP version of morale boost, but we'll have to see how things work out with her. And then for the five star skill, as I talked about before, um, what, what was it? Was it the wood one? I've already forgotten. Yeah, it was the wood one. Um, guard on the five star skill. This could potentially be interesting, I would say. Um, they have sparked my interest in potentially never obtaining this Ashraman and testing for science out here. But I'm already thinking like if you have her going off with guard and if you have another Ashraman that can somehow do either some version of CC like stun, something like Dark Falk or maybe something similar to Dark Cupid or even freaking, um, what is it, Dark Crystal Dragon, things could be interesting. Like this would be a very good method of possibly stalling out some enemies. Uh, just because if she gets gets her 5 star skill off and starts spamming that, there's really nothing you can do without SP Siphon. So, SP Siphon could definitely be the key in kind of preventing her from getting that guard off. Not saying if she gets guard off that it's the end of the world here, but that is a big damage mitigation factor for her. And if she's tanky AF, without you having a whole bunch of Ashramon that are super strong, could be problematic because, I mean, you could apply defense down and try and nuke her uh, as much as possible too, so... Very interested in that, at least. I'm honestly a little bit more excited for her than uh, Yeo, just because her kit seems like it could be interesting, and Yeo's is more like this will either work or not work, and if it works, it's not really PvP related, it's more just PvE, which if you're into PvE more than PvP, totally understand here. But yeah, I'm going to be interested in seeing her out there on the battlefield because Hopefully things will get a little bit more interesting here. But anyways, that is the review of Lilaps. I do believe she's Heroes Festival exclusive, so pray to the gods you can get any version of her. Because as I stated in my schedule maintenance video, uh, my luck all goes to Hohenheim. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah, feel free to leave in the comments below about what version you guys think is the best version of her. Or what you would have preferred. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I would like light or dark. But at this point in time, water may be the most useful for me. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. See ya.